Sure, I think it's important to recognize that with these upcoming cold winter months, a lot of patients and a lot of people don't recognize um, the severity of how cold weather can impact patients with underlying what we call cardiovascular disease or underlying heart disease, um, especially when we go out there for the first time um, and maybe want to start exercising or particularly for patients who um, may want to go out there and start shoveling snow or even for patients who are out there walking in heavy wet snow but also have a history of heart disease. This can really impact what's happening at the level of our hearts. Cold weather um, can have a really significant impact on the heart. Um, first and foremost, when we go out in the cold weather, it can actually do what's called constricting the vessels of the heart or it can actually narrow the vessels of the heart. In addition, cold weather in and of itself can actually create clots. Um, so these two things can unfortunately um, impact upon the heart by creating heart disease by if we're going outside and, and shoveling snow, um, both cold weather by creating clots and narrowing of the heart vessels can ultimately lead um, in creating of heart disease or heart attacks. So then if we're going out for the first time, maybe for the first time in the year, uh, if this is a New Year's resolution and we're going out there and shoveling snow or exercising, this is creating an increased demand on the supply that the heart requires, whether it's oxygen and nutrients by shoveling and exercising, then in addition, the cold weather is creating that constriction or the narrowing of the vessels of the heart. So it's almost kind of like a one-two punch for that likelihood of having a heart attack or heart disease while exercising or shoveling snow. There's lots of practical tips that I suggest to my patients. I kind of call these common sense tips for our patients. I think it's really important to, if you're gonna get out there and exercise, um, as well as shoveling snow, it's important to take breaks and listen to your body. Um, you don't wanna shovel that entire driveway in one fell swoop, even though many of us wanna get this done with. Um, it's important to just really maintain a slow, steady pace and to take breaks and listen to your body. Two, I think it's incredibly important to maintain hydration keep your body well hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Thirdly, I think it's important to really avoid alcohol intake. You get this false sense of, of warmth um, and many of us can underestimate a lot of symptoms um, that could be attributed to heart disease uh, while we're shoveling or exercising. So really important to avoid alcohol intake while we're um, out in the cold, cold weather. It's absolutely possible to get outside and exercise I think when we're doing this, it's incredibly important to, um, to dress smart. Many of us who might not be familiar with cold, cold weather, if we didn't grow, grow up in a cold weather environment, many of us jump for that quick t-shirt, uh, a cotton t-shirt to put on first, but it's important that when we're outside and sweating um, in the cold weather, that that creates a damp body environment. So you might wanna wear kind of like a sports performance, uh, kind of a t-shirt, um, to kind of that wicks away that sweat from our body so we don't have that core uh, damp layer. Um, so put on that sports performance t-shirt first, then that bulky fleece or sweater, something that you really like to kind of stay nice and warm while you're outside, outside exercising.